so hey guys what's up welcome back to my youtube channel so guys in this video i will be showing you that how you can get a pc style browser on your android device okay basically uh, the browser which i'm going to tell you in this video is just like a chrome chrome version but it's a modded chrome so you can say it's a chromium uh, downloading link will be given in the description you can just go on website and simply download so let me just quickly show you what's inside the browser and what the features you, you will be getting in this browser so here, here you can see this is a chromium browser which i'm talking about and this browser is seriously fully functional if you really want to experience a pc style browser on your android device okay in my case i'm having an android dev uh basically you can say i'm having an android tablet so that's why you can just yeah i mean i'm getting full experience of pc but still if you are having android then it will just act like a your default chrome browser okay so let me just show you the features so first feature is like you can just uh, view the source code of any web page you are uh, currently on like if i am on www.google.com so here i just click on my view source and you can see i don't know what is this uh, anyways i just found this feature so i uh, think that i should must tell you anyways and the second feature okay uh, my keyboard was just got disconnected anyways uh, the second feature the most important feature which i think is the pure dark mode as you can see uh, even if google is in dark mode if i just open wikipedia here okay so let me just open a wikipedia because uh, you can just go on your by default chrome browser and search for wikipedia and go to this website i will be uh, i guarantee you that this website always open in white background okay it always open in white background and it's not so comfortable to eyes uh, yeah you can enable a, a dark mode but still but in this chrome browser you don't have to enable a dark mode on particular every website uh, dark mode will be already activated on each and every website okay even on youtube and uh, let me just show you the second feature which is you can add a uh, this page to home screen and you can just open it as a application web application basically okay so let me just add it as you can see it's an android and uh, here we go let me just open it wikipedia here and as you can see it's open just like a wikipedia.org directly so okay uh, uh, it was already open in my chromium tab so that's why it's take a it's i mean it's load so fast otherwise it is it will be going to take a little bit time and let me just go on settings and show you the more features which this provided uh, this browser is going to provide so you guys can just see first feature uh, i mean third feature it's ad blocking it really blocks the ad okay so yeah this uh, really works you can just uh, uh, change your default search engine and also this is a chromium so there will be a no force of uh, google basically on your browser i mean there is no force that you have to just sign in with your google account but it's all depends on you okay and there's one disadvantage which is you can't sync between your chrome browser and this chromium okay sync purpose will not work as if you want the, like all the passwords and all everything just sync between your your chrome browser to this chromium and that is not possible okay so that was the one drawback which i just really want to tell you but anyways if i just go on so as you can see here when you click on theme uh, it's a light theme basically and it's a dark theme uh, when you click on dark theme you will also get the uh, option like darken website when you enable it then the complete dark mode will be enabled on your browser so this was a feature uh, second feature in which i already told you let me just show you the fourth feature which is user agent you can just really change your user agent in this browser and this is the most important uh, feature for me basically i'm having an android tablet and ev uh, and every website which i just visit on this uh, on my device it always open in android style and i really hate that because i am having a large screen which is uh, you can say this is a normal size of laptop basically 10 inch tablet so for me i always want my browser to open every website by default in desktop style and if i use the linux uh, user agent which is provided by the uh, google chrome like you can just enable it the uh, desktop site from three dots i just hate this so what i can do is like i can change my mobile user agent i can change my desktop mode user agent okay so as you can see uh, my mobile age user agent is like windows 10 pc and my desktop user agent is like linux 64 and x86 and uh, blah 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 so i just use my mobile i have just basically i have just changed my uh, mobile user agent so whenever i just open any new tab it always open in 
in you can say in PC style by default without enabling this desktop side which is the most important feature uh, I think it is I mean for me it is so I don't know what uh, about you but still it's a very great feature which I really want to tell you and yeah now finish these were the some main features which I really want to tell you otherwise all the features here uh, also provided in the chromium browser also so yeah there is nothing special but yeah i just also want to show you one thing more like if you have an android device and you want this chromium uh, uh, this tabletic style like as you can see i have uh, tabs here i can just cl close the tabs i can just open more tabs here i just don't have to click on that here on four square icon to see my all tabs so what you can do is you can just go on settings you can just go on accessibilities and you can just turn on this force tablet mode this will force your uh, this chromium browser to open in tablet style on your android device okay even on your small screen it will be not so comfortable for you but still if you want then you can uh, so yeah these were the some features which i really want to tell you about this browser and yeah the downloading link will be given in the description you can just go and download it also and yeah let me just show you the chromium version as you can see here it's in 92 point blah 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 blah, blah. Uh, yeah you can just read it up yourself anyways so this much was in this video i hope you really liked it and i have just made this video to uh, keep a record or you can say just keep a proof like uh, from where i can download this uh, browser because recently i was using this browser from a long time and i just uh, want to re-download this browser because i have just by mistake i've just uninstalled this browser from my device and i was not able to find this browser this particular browser on whole web then i search I, you can say then i search lot then i put uh, you can say then i just luckily found that link from where i just downloaded this browser because otherwise if you search for a chromium browser the uh, other chromium browsers will not going to provide these much features uh, only this chrome version chromium version will uh, basically you can say provide these features you can say this is a mod modded chromium so yeah that's why it's it is having a more special features so yeah this video is just for a record so that in case in uh, future i just again uninstall my this chromium browser or i have to just download that chrome this chromium browser on my other device because i really like this chromium so that's i just can just go in description and download this okay so yeah, yeah, this was in this video. I hope you really liked it. And if you really liked it, then yeah, give a thumbs up to this video. And I will meet you in my next video. Till then, goodbye. And yeah, this is the best, uh, you can say, this is the best browser for your Android device. So please, must check it out. Uh, from where I can just turn off my screen, you follow me. So yeah, here we go.